I'm waiting on Ellis. He think I won't leave him, but little dude, he know. I'm driving anyway. He better come on. I really need to get my car washed. We don't have anything specific that we want to get from Trader. Yes, we do. Ellis wanted to get some more watermelon and cucumber juice. And I'm gonna pick up some more of their um pizza. We need to stop by another H E B because we love their general is it Tao? General Tao chicken. That sauce. They they hit the nail on the head when they created that sauce. So yeah, and we'll need some more ginger beer. What is this man doing? Oh, you're still here? What happened to oh I'm leaving you. <laughs> huh? I was talking to the vlog. Oh yeah, you was talking to the vlog because you wasn't going nowhere. <laughs> as soon as you say that loud, I'm gonna take my time. <laughs> you gonna take your time. I took my time and put my socks on. I was not in no rush. Socks off away. What shoes you got on? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna leave you. You ain't leaving nobody. <laughs> Cause if you was gonna leave me, you would have left. I ain't never say nothing about leaving you. Was gonna talk about you ain't gonna leave me. You said and no, I'm I gonna leave you. You, I'm glad you record because <laughs> I got the proof. <laughs> we can stop right now. Let's stop right now. All right. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. So it is Sunday, the day before Memorial Day. thing that looks like the Biscoff um, ice cream that we're looking for but it's not it this is at our neighborhood Walmart so we'll go to Target now hey y'all so guess what we found it it's two for six at Target so uh, let me know how it tastes I'm gonna let y'all know how it tastes when I get home hey y'all so Ilse and I are about to go to a park um, to go see the water levels because 
it has been raining a lot here in Central Texas and all of our dehydrated ponds and lakes have filled back up. So we want to go see this um, parks. Um, it has little ponds and stuff. So we want to go see. I just want to come and show y'all what I had on. Just this black shirt that I got from Marshalls. These shorts that I got from Marshalls. Oh, I think it's from Marshalls actually. <laughs> Nothing spectacular. Um, I'll put on some brutes, some of my old pair of nursing shoes. And I'm gonna take y'all with me because guess what? We are blogging. This girl is getting content. Y'all see my header right there? And right there? Yeah, they always by my side. Don't ever, ever think you can come up in my house without them getting to you before you get to me. And understand, I got something if you wanna get to me. Cause we in Texas, baby. But I'll see y'all at the park. Like I said, this is how it was when we had browser winter. Yeah. And we were throwing, throwing in the water was coming. Yeah. Cause you can tell down there it gets stronger. Mm -hmm. So y'all, this is what I was talking about. Like all of this, it wasn't completely empty, but it was like 90% empty. Let me show you. It, this park also has a waterfall, so we're going to hike over there. We ain't really no hike. It's a walk. <laughs> walk we're going to walk over there. ladies and gents sorry it's a little dark in here or it's probably because my shades a little dark but this morning is may 29th ellis and i are about to head to our ivf clinic today is the ivf discussion we'll actually meet with the fertility doctors um and basically we're going to go over our um, ivf consent form um, they didn't want us to sign it. You have to have like a notary or like them there to witness that we're signing it, that we're fully knowledgeable about it. Before we can do, before you can sign, before you can sign a consent, the doctor has to go over all of the. No one in here. No. Before you can sign a consent, you legally have to go over it with your doctor. So if you have any questions, that they can answer the questions. So. Um, I printed it out. Um, I skimmed over it. Um, Ellis and I have talked about what I skimmed over. Um, because I've skimmed over it because I've already read in depth about it. So, so yeah. Um, let me back up for Ellis. I'll see y'all when we get to the clinic. Hey y'all, so we just left our appointment. We met with our IVF specialist. And he basically went over the entire process, which Ellis and I have already gone over. But he went into more depth. Let me tell y'all what he told me. I took a little note. Very little. Because <laughs> I wanted to listen. So he was saying my AMH numbers were great. And AMH is basically a number off of the it's a number off it's a number of eggs number of eggs relative to the women in your own age group. So, so for you it's 30 30, 30, 30 35. 35, yeah, 30 35. So my numbers are good. And your weight. And said and your 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 weight age, size. Age weight. Something else. It's age, weight. I think that was it. Age, weight. Yeah. It was something else. But he said that I was good. He basically said that he 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 says our odds are high of getting pregnant the first time. Um and if not, the second time would be even higher. Mm-hmm. 
each time we go back, it'll be higher. It will probably never, it will never be 100%, but it'll be higher each time. What is it, 50, what he said, it was like 70% the first time, then 80, like the second, then beyond that, like 90, 90. Three. He was saying that they're hoping to retrieve um, 14 eggs, and he said probably for me it'll be more than that. And out of those 14, it'll probably be like five or six viable eggs, and they only implant one egg at a time because one egg can split into two and have twins. So Twinsies. we're not trying to have a litter, <laughs> and Illis probably will like a litter, but Illis. No. Mm -mm. Not doing that. I mean, I mean, the whole family got to quit their jobs and come stay in Texas. Mm -mm. We're going to live in one big house. Community. The Griffin family. Mm -mm. So, that's what we discussed today. And the next time we will be back to the clinic is. It's almost June, so a month. And that's when we'll be starting the whole process. So I'll keep y'all updated on everything that's going on. I'll let y'all know the good, the bad, the ugly. So, yeah. So right now, we're basically headed back home because I work tonight. I work the next two nights. So, yeah, probably won't be seeing me. Unless you're on her Instagram. Unless you are on my Instagram, correct. Follow me. I'll put that down here on the screen because I'm more active on Instagram. She's been blowing up. She's a superstar. She just had a video, video go viral. Oh, my God. 45,000 views. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Good morning, y'all. So I literally just got off. I'm looking like yesterday, yeah. I only had this outfit on for about 45 minutes and then I took it off so I decided to put it back on because yes, I worked last night but I have a podiatrist appointment this morning in about an hour and 10 minutes. I'm about to head there now. Literally just came home quick and changed. So, why am I going to the podiatrist, you may ask. If you are not new here and you've seen my previous video on me getting my ingrown toenail permanently removed, it's the same toe. So, if you are new here, I have ingrown. All of my toenails are ingrown. Yeah, how unlucky. But my left big toe is the problem child so I had my left big toe <sighs> I had a temporary ingrown move and then I had a permanent ingrown move so the doctor told me he was like now your your whole entire toenail can fall off and which I was cool with because my toenail was narrow since he had already like he removed the, a piece of it so I was like, I'm fine with it falling off. So literally, it's been a whole like year later and it decides to fall off. But all of it didn't fall off. A little piece stayed on. So I got my girl to just put acrylic over it to make it look regular. That was fine. Maybe like two weeks later, I noticed like I got this small little... It's not a blister, but it's like white. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to keep an eye on it. And it just got bigger and bigger. So I decided to get it taken off, the acrylic toenail. And once it was taken off, that, that, that little bump grew. I don't got no pictures. And I just realized it last night. I was like, why didn't I take any pictures? I don't have any pictures of it. But now... It's like the bump has calloused. <sighs> I thought it was infected, y'all. I, I just, I made an appointment with Padaris because I did not want my big toe to fall off. Like, I want all my limbs, all my extremities. I want all of them. So, I made an appointment, but now it kind of look better. <laughs> so, when I get there, they're going to be like, 
keep doing what you're doing. Just waste the money. Just waste the money. But I do still want him. Like, it's hard now. I still want him to look at his shoes. And I am going to give me an acrylic toenail put on it for my before my birthday trip. Sure is. I am not going on vacation with this toe. Looking like how it's looking. Even though I've been walking. <laughs> Even though I've been walking. i still been wearing sandals everywhere. Because who? Who going to check me? Ellis doesn't seem the big toe. He the only one that matter. <laughs> That's what I don't understand about people. It's like how they can let other people's judgment like ruin their spirit or like get in their head. Like, who gives a blank what other people think? You know? I know what this toe look like. <laughs> I do not care. Like if anybody sees this toe. I do not care. So, you know what? The moral of this story is you should not care what anybody got to say about you. You know who you are. So wh why does what anybody else say matter? It shouldn't, and it don't. So don't let it. Okay? I got to go um get my phone. I left it in the house. I will see y'all maybe when I get to the appointment. Maybe I'll record my big toe and show y'all how it look. She has been really doing a curveball every year, it seems like. Like, every year for the past three years, like, something's been going on with this big toe. So, yeah, I'm going to keep chatting. So, let me just hang up the phone with y'all right now before I just keep talking. I'm like that I'm like that parent, you know, that tell you bye and continue to talk. Yeah, let me go. Hey y'all, so I made it. God, I am so freaking tired. I don't even know how I made it here. I don't know how I made it here. I am so sleepy. I don't know why when I was driving home from work, I was like, oh, I'm hungry. I'm craving grits and eggs and bacon. I'm going to cook that when I get home. No, you not, girl. So now I'm trying to think about what I'm going to get, what I'm going to pick up for Ellis and I. Breakfast because I'm not cooking, mm -mm. and I don't know why I always be wanting full breakfasts. I be wanting every morning grits, bacon, eggs, grits, sausage, eggs. We got tater tots, but I don't want that. Gosh, I'm so hungry. I'm so tired. It's 8.37 right now. My appointment is at 9.15. But they're like, come 30 minutes early. Why do doctors tell you to come 30 minutes early? And they not even going to call your name until like 15 minutes after your appointment time. <laughs> What's the point? Come fill out some paperwork. Well, paperwork ain't take no 30 minutes. I am not slow. I know how to read and write. I'm just tired, y'all. I'm tired. I look tired, don't I? Yeah. I'ma get the I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a video of my toe though. So I was just sitting in here and watching YouTube, so let me get to it. to the side. Yeah. See, like, and this is a form. 
form of like yeah. some pressure, but up there it kind of weird. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Doctor Stokes is still your primary. Yes. And did you see Dr. Stokes this year? I was supposed to see her on Monday, but you know, the tornado tore up their clinic. <laughs> when did you, did you already reschedule it? or? They you? are rescheduling June 3rd. Because I was going to talk to her about it too, but <laughs> they canceled my appointment. Let's see what he says. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Y'all heard what she said. Um, and let me show y'all. So this is what she pulled up on the computer. This was last year. Literally last year when I got my permanent toenail ingrown removal. And that's how it looked like me coming back. I think this was like a follow-up appointment. But do y'all see how it looked like? My, this toe has been giving me trouble. I literally used to have the prettiest toes. Look at that. Look at this. <sighs> Nothing wrong with these toes. It's just really it's a big toe, but no, seriously, I'm a little more ingrown. But this toe right here, this toe right here, nigga. We can just cut the whole toe off. Give me a new toe. Y'all. So, he think it could be like a ganglion cell. Basically, he thinks it might be an, like my old nail, like a piece of that old ingrown that was supposed to be taken out could be still in there curling up into a ball. So, we are going to cut it out. Um, he just numbed my toe. It don't hurt. It do hurt. But it's just like these things, I feel like. Um. I'm going to ask him if I can record because I just, you know what? No, it's too graphic. I ain't going to put that on here. <laughs> Y'all, I got a work night. We going to see if my toe can handle it. I'm not going to say hey, y'all, like I always do. <laughs> well, I'm back in the car. Um, finished with my little procedure. Um, I didn't show y'all. I should have showed y'all. I don't know it was a little graphic i feel like this was more rough than the removal of my ingrown toe but he gave me a little diagnosis he i had an epi epidermoid inclusion cyst so basically so basically he removed that top layer of skin he was like saying it was a waxy piece of skin underneath that i had a, a cyst and the most important part is to get all of it or it will come back. So he was in there digging and scraping. So that probably would have been too much for y'all. But now I just got on a little, <laughs> a little dressing, a little gauze and coban. And they said give it about three hours, take it off. And I shouldn't bleed. I shouldn't be bleeding, but I'm a bleeder, so we'll see. Said I should be able to work tonight. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see about four o'clock. If my toe, if my toe was ready, is ready to go to work. Ellis um texting me right now, um talking about what was it. <laughs> so the doctor wrote what it was on this card and let me just shout out my doctor i love that man that made me remember like i ain't seen him in a year and he remember me he was like you done lost my weight <laughs> like i have and he then he was asking me about my birthday last year and because this always happens around my birthday dang it i come back in a week so i'm gonna ask him can i <laughs> you know what I'm just going to have to thug it out with this toe for my birthday trip. I'm not going to put acrylic on top. I am not getting an infection. So, I'm going to shout my doctor out. This is his card. Dr. Ledger, foot and ankle clinic. Amazing. He is amazing. But let me take a picture of this to send to Ellis. I need 
need to figure out what I'm about to go get us to eat. I'm not really in the mood from now for breakfast food. So, I need to have gone on home so I can go to sleep and may go to work tonight. I can't call up. I literally told one of the other nurses because she was talking about calling up. I was like, you cannot call out. I'm, I'm back tonight. We'll be back together. But they're supposed to be getting three hearts to come out. So that means like basically new admission. And I'm just hoping that they come out during day shift. Cause it just take too much. It just take too much for paper charting, paper charting and an admission. A surgical admission. He asking if it feel better. My foot, my toe is numb. I don't feel nothing. I already know he about you didn't feel me? No, I didn't. Okay, y'all, let me go. <clears throat> hey, y'all, so I am inside of Kohl's. I need to go to the restroom, so I just used it. Um, I wanted to show y'all that I went to Sephora um, to pick up a little thing, a, little, a couple things. Um, I was going to head to the grocery store, but it's about to rain on our heads, so I'm about to call Ellis. I'm about to call Ellis and see if he want me to pick up anything to eat tonight because I'm not about to get my hair wet. Mm -mm. Nah, he's not doing that. So I'll see y'all when I get home. I'll show y'all what I got. Hey everybody, so I made it back home and I just want to show y'all what I got from Sephora. So first of all, they gave me some free samples of perfumes. Well, really one perfume. Radiant Grace by Philosophy. The Most Wanted by Azaro and Prada Ocean Luna Rosa. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I wonder what they smell like. I wear men's perfume, mean cologne. That's for Ellis. <laughs> So manly. I don't know. I might keep it. I might keep it uh Prada. But anyway, um I got Fenty Skin Reset, Hydra Reset. It is the intensive recovery hand mask. I got this for work. Because my hands be super dry. So we're gonna see, we're gonna put this to the test. Let's try it right now. My hands get super dry from all of the hand hygiene that we do at work. Dang, I can't even open. I was gonna get the butter, the butter, but I was like, nah, this could fit in my pocket at the job. Okay, there we go. It's got like an ointment. An ointment. What is that ointment? Oh no, this might this might keep my hands moisturized. We're gonna see. And it's like a clean scent. Yeah, we're gonna see how this works. How this performs as a nurse. I'll um come back and give y'all an update. So I also got Laneige Gummy Bear. I've never had this um, scent. So I got this also to go to work with me. Because my lips get real dry overnight. My face is really greasy right now. And that is not because I washed it and put all the serums and moisturizer on. That's my oil peeking through. Saying hello. I also got this Amika The Cure Intense Bond Repair Mask. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be getting braids, not this upcoming week, but the following week. So I wanna um do this mask treatment on my hair. I like this brand Amika. It's expensive, but I like this brand. And last but not least, I got me a little puncture sharpener. They on sale right now for three dollars at Sephora. I know I probably could have got it for a dollar at the Dollar Tree, but I was in Sephora, so that's what we got. 
that's everything, y'all. Um, I stopped to the uh, gas station and picked me up some cookies. These cookies look so soft. They are huge. I got these, what is it, Prairie City Bakery, white macadamia nut, and chocolate chunk. These things are big. Like, probably get into my head. And they are so freaking soft. I love a soft cookie. Got that and look, I got me some Mega Million Powerball because I'll do right by that money, okay? <laughs> I will do right by that money, okay? So, yeah, that's all I got. So, tomorrow, Ellis and I are probably gonna go to Austin. Don't know what we're actually gonna get into. I've been sending him a lot of uh. Instagram videos on like places to eat and um basically have fun. So I don't know what we're gonna get into because it depends all on the weather, y'all. If it's raining and storming, we gonna stay our butts in the house. We can have a movie day. We got some popcorn. It's a Dollar General down the street. We can go get us a little snack. We can just stay in the house because you know I like staying in the house, save money. So <laughs> yeah, it all depends on the weather. Like, literally, right now, it's about to storm. So, I'm, that's why I came home instead of going to H-E-B, the grocery store. Well, right now, I am about to go sh online shopping. <laughs> online window shopping. I don't know. I might not be window shopping. Today is payday. I got paid. And you know what? When you get paid... You pay your bills, but you deserve something nice. So I feel like I deserve something nice. Besides this stuff, I deserve something nice. So I'm gonna go look at my um my cart and see if I wanna buy what's in my cart. So that's what I'm about to go do. I will see y'all tomorrow. Hey y'all, Ellis and I just got done with our shopping spree. <laughs> oh, we're here at the Round Rock Outlets. Um, I'll show y'all what I got. I didn't get a lot. I don't like I was telling y'all, like I don't be wanting nothing for real. Um, everything that I want is in my Shein cart. I'm so low maintenance. I feel not low maintenance, but I'm so what would you call it? Hmm. I don't know what to call it now. I just don't be wanting nothing for real. I know, like, I know the wrong thing. Either. I know. It's been so long since we've been out here. I know. We've been out here a long time. I'm saying, I need some new job in the Yeah. We need to do spring cleaning. I was, I was just telling that to him. Like, we need to go through clothes. Because you got, when I was over there on your side, I was like, it was only none of this. Like, those shorts, the other shorts. You can't even fit. If you're old Navy, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. You booty too big. Yeah, I know. So, we need, thick. we need to do a spring cleaning. Maybe we can do that today. Today? Maybe uh Tuesday or <laughs> Monday or Tuesday. We didn't get to that today. <laughs> what you wanna eat? Oh. Sushi. I don't want to touch sushi. I want some I want a full meal. I don't want no knickknacks. Yeah, no, no yeah, I want a full meal. Okay. Like I said, I, I don't the food is eating lately it just ain't been ain't been it need full substance. Nice occasion. A little easy. I heard from um my coworkers they said that this fixed southern house is good. What did they what did they say? It's like Southern food. I guess they supposed to be expensive too. What is it? Is it Austin? It's Austin. What's that, what's that, Austin? I do not know. This the menu. So, like I was saying, Ellis and I were here um, on the shopping spree. Um, I'll show you everything I got. I only got something from the last two stores, which was Tommy Hilfiger and Columbia. The only reason I would go here is if you wanted the shrimps and grits and shrimp. No. If you don't, if you don't know you want them. So on my phone, y'all, I got a list of, like, 
restaurants and stuff in Austin. And I feel like all of this stuff is like... Bar food? Yeah. Not actual restaurants. Mm -hmm. Can you get Mediterranean food there? I think it's the Mediterranean place we used to go to. Oh no. I, I was thinking about it the other day. Like, we, think so good. Was it was it San Antonio? We, we no, it's Austin. No, it wasn't in Austin. Yes, it was. It's a Mediterranean place in San Antonio we went to, but it's the one we went to in Austin because me, Tanisha, and Angela went. And then me and you went. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. We were sitting on the floor. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what Wait, that. no, we didn't sit on the floor. Me we and them sat yeah, on the floor. Yeah, so, I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, that would be good right now. I can hear it. Mediterranean? Yeah. Mm, I'm gonna find a good one though. Okay. I'll see y'all wherever we go eat. The only reason why I didn't pick y'all up out here is because it's hot. It says it's 102 degrees. It's 102 degrees. I guess so. Now, it didn't feel that hot. It didn't feel that hot. It felt like it was in the 90s, but it's, if I say it's 100, 100, it's going down. 100 degrees. So, I do want to tell y'all. So, this will come out before Father's Day. When we went to Columbia, Columbia is having a huge, huge sale. Oh, the one we had. The one we the, had. Well, at this Round Rock outlet. I would go to, I would try to actually go to well, it's not a Columbia outlet. I don't think that was a Columbia outlet. I just think it was a Columbia. Go to your Columbia. Like, if your dad is into, like, fishing. Is that all they sell? Like, fishing stuff? Fishing stuff, rain, rain gear. Rain. Like, just, just long, long, long If your daddy into that, that type of stuff, go over there and get your daddy something for Father's Day. Because they had a lot of stuff. We picked up at least that, um, some stuff for Father's Day. Because he's about to get back into fishing. Which I can't wait till he retires so he can buy his boat. So whenever we go home, I can... We, me and my father-in-law can be on the boat fishing. Where, where Whitney at? You know she out there with L fishing. <laughs> I want to be out there fishing. You want to go to KG Barbecue? No. Mm. I just don't want it. I want friend in that. I was just thinking about it. Where's that at, baby? Because no. that's outside. No, I don't want to sit outside. No, it's hot. <laughs> no. But I'll pick y'all up whenever we eat somewhere inside. It's hot. Very hot. Just don't understand. You eat hummus? I do. Now I do. <laughs> hey y'all, so we are at Aprigio. It is in Austin. It is a Mediterranean spot. And this is hummus and pita bread. It looks really don't eat hummus. I just started eating hummus. I like the hummus from Cabo. How is it? Not bad. It's not bad. Probably some of the best hummus I had. Because the store bought hummus be nasty. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, y'all, let me eat. Hey, y'all, so this is what my food looks like. Um, I got lamb chops with a Mediterranean salad on top of basmati. I don't know how to pronounce that rice. Basmati rice. Basmati rice? Mm -hmm. Ellis got chicken swarma and a Greek salad. Y'all, that Greek salad, I, I don't already tore it up. It's so freaking good. The dressing they use, it's a house dressing that they make that good. It's so good. This is what Ellis and I needed. We've been eating unhealthy for the past month. We've been eating just like processed, a lot of processed foods, and it's been messing with our digestive system, so we needed this. So yeah, I'm gonna eat. If you're ever in Austin and you would like some really good Mediterranean food, Arpeggio, right here. Let me move my hand. Go in. The building might look old. This might, I don't know if it's considered a hole in a while, but it is so delicious. Don't you agree? It's good. I like it. Both times I've been here. I've not been here more than twice. I have been been twice. I was gonna say both times I've been here. So we've been here one time before this one with you, and then we went to one in 
new brothels. Mm -hmm. and that was good too. I feel like every Mediterranean place we've been to has been good. Mm. Why are you making that face? What Mediterranean place we've been to that hasn't been good? Mm. Yes, ma'am. They did. And all the all the Middle Easterns come here. You know, it's, you know, it's banging. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they, 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 they ain't gonna come if, if it ain't banging. This authentic. Mm-hmm. The Greek salad. They got the juice. Where are we going to get some sweet at? Mm. You know you got a big bag when you got to eat something sweet after the meal. What you want, like a cookie? Mm, I got a cookie at the house. What cookie? The macadamia. I ate that this morning. You did? I did. Mm. <laughs> We got some Biscoff ice cream bars. Yeah, man, that's something. That'd be good enough. Child, I was listening to them talk. I think they say, uh, uh, I don't know if this is a first date for them. Or they like both a look follow old. up date. <sighs> yeah, I'm, so, I'm so happy I ain't got a damn date. Because I don't want to hear nobody's sob stories. <laughs> he was talking about how his ex girlfriend cheated on him and tried to convince him that she didn't cheat on him. It was a whole... Is that something that you tell on the first date? Yeah, I don't know. Or second date? I just be listening. I just be listening. How would you feel if we went on a date and then I talked to you about that? Like, would you be like, I don't care? Right now? Yeah. If you talked about your ex-girlfriend? Hmm? From no, uh, 17 uh, years ago? Like we went, I wouldn't kill. We went on, we went, we was on, we on our second date. Okay. And now I started telling you how my ex cheated on me. Like, how would you feel? You like, I no, don't you know care. what? I want to know because I feel like that changes a person, especially if it was your first time getting cheated on. I feel like it changes a person. You lose your trust, mm. like, after that. So, like, little things that you do towards me might not be towards me. It's you, like, trying to react from your past wounds. Mm. So, I think I would want to know, like, so how did your last relationship end? Are you could have cheated? You could have damn cheated, but I don't feel like men be telling. <laughs> I don't feel like men be telling women that they done cheat. That's why they relationship ended because they cheated. So, but what if somebody do say, "Hey, yeah, I, I cheated on my 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 ex." Like, this, 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 is that a? Is it a deal breaker? Yeah, is that a? a um, is that an instant like in the day? Or? It's a red flag. I mean, I don't know. Like, how many? This is a question for y'all. How many red flags before you just call it quits? <laughs> I mean, because at the end of the day, everybody got a red flag. Everybody like, got a red no, flag. Nobody, so that's why I'm like, nobody, red, nobody ain't got all green flags. One red flag won't do it, but I don't know. Maybe three strikes you at. Like, how many times did you cheat? What if it, what if it's a good reason that you cheated? It ain't, it, it ain't never a good reason. Because you could have just broke up with her. Just break up before you cheat. I'm, I'm, I'm over trying to think of a good reason. Ain't no good reason. I'm trying to think. Well, what could he say? Uh, Nothing. To justify. Nothing. She was flirting hard with some of his best friends. Nothing. Break up with it then. If you feel like she is potentially about to cheat on you, just break up with her. Why go tit for tat with somebody? But what if that's what he want? What if he want her to break up with him? And what if he don't want to break it up? It's still not a good reason. Hmm? Yeah, obviously, but I'm just saying, what if he wants to break it up then? But he he wants to break up, but, but he, she he, hasn't cheated. Huh? But she hasn't cheated. But she, she hasn't cheated. In his eyes. But he wants to break up, but he doesn't want to he doesn't want to do, go through. He don't want to do it. He wants yeah, her to do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He want he, he want her to initiate. It. It's other ways you can uh but what's, get on somebody nerves. But what's to the, the most point. effective way though? I guess cheating is. Yeah, exactly. But sometimes cheating ain't cuz some women just be staying through all the cheating. That's on that's her that's her then. Like it's I don't put my what ifs out there. <laughs> and I don't see what I said. If she try if she wants to stay with her now, he just he he's stuck, he's stuck. He's stuck. <laughs> like Chuck. He should just bring or, up. Or he just gonna have he have to initiate it now. 
But like I was saying, y'all in the comments, I want to know how many red flags until y'all call it quits. For me, if if a man told me that he was cheating, like serial cheater in his past relationship, I don't think that I could be with him. I think that would be enough. So I think it varies with each situation. Because if you're a serial cheater, I don't want to be with you. Why, why even waste my time? I'm not even trying to change you. You go out there, you be who you want to be with somebody be. else who accepts you for you. You don't want to be monogamous. You want to be open. And that's not where I want to be. So, you know. So, y'all let me know. Wow. We, so, we've been here home. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll see y'all whenever we get home. Show y'all what we got from our shopping spree. Bye. Hey everybody, so we made it back home. I wanted to show y'all what we got. Well, Ron's wanted to see as well, so I'm gonna start with Columbia. We have two different bags because we bought our stuff and then I was like, hey, Father Day coming up, so we need to get Father's Day stuff. So I won't be showing y'all the Father's Day stuff because this is going up before Father's Day. So I'll show y'all what we got. I got this little vest. I was like, this would be so cute with my, my um work uniform. So this is what that looks like. And I also needed a new rain jacket. So, no. So, Ella's behind this camera about to get wah, 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 wah. <laughs> So, it is like I was saying. Uh, I got a new rain jacket in this colorway. This was in the men's section. They had um, different colorways in the women. And I didn't want a purple. I didn't want the green that they had because I just didn't like that colorway. What other colorway they had? It's like a peach color. I didn't like it. So, I was asking like in the women's for the rain jackets, what colors? They had the green. They had the green, they had the pink, purple, but they had the green that you didn't like. I had it. And then Ellis, he got him some shorts. Khaki and black. And that's all we got ourselves from Columbia. Rest is Father's Day present. Okay, so next we have. What's this Tommy Hill figure? Ellis got him a khaki fanny pack. The, um, I told him to get this specifically for our upcoming trip. This is, we got the Tommy Hill figure right there. But this is basically how it looks. It, it's big enough to fit his phone, wallet, keys. So, yeah, got that. He also got, because Ellis can never have too many of these. Literally, his grandma knits him these. He got two of these little beanies. I got me a bucket hat. And I got me two tank tops. Blue and white. Navy and white. And then this cream color. And that's all from Tommy Hill figure. We also went to Reebok. I didn't get anything from Reebok. Ellis got him some sweatpants. Y'all know what sweatpants. Just gray sweatpants. He got this loud green hoodie. <laughs> this loud green hoodie. <laughs> Last but not least, went to Puma. And he got another. Oh, he got money in here. He got another jacket. A lightweight jacket. It looks like this. 
mean, that's it. We went to, um, so that was at the Round Rock Outlets. We went to the Domain in Austin, and we went to Coach, and he also picked up a wallet, but he put his his card in the wallet, and he just didn't like, he felt like it was too bulky. So we're going to take that back. Well, he's going to take that back. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm going to end it right here. Don't forget my question I asked earlier. How many red flags does it take you to peace out on a dude or on a female or whoever? How many of them does it take? I, like I said, I feel like it's, it is individualized. It depends on what the red flag is because it can only take one sometimes for me. For me. So, y'all let me know down in the comment below. And I will see you next Monday. I'm going to start putting vlogs out on Monday. So I'll see you next Monday. Bye.